Will everyone please stand? Good morning, everyone. We welcome you to 2023. Glory be to God. Happy New Year. And certainly we're glad to have all those that are viewing by way of live streaming this morning. We're Logos Christian Fellowship Church, located at 4801 Elm Rock Avenue in the city of San Jose. So we're starting this new year off. Glory be to God. And we're here to start it off. What a blessing. What a privilege it is. God is a good God. Oh, hallelujah. How many are expecting more and greater things from the Lord? Amen. Glory be to God. Well, God is faithful and God is good. We're so glad to have each and every one of you with us this morning. Let us bow our heads as we go to the throne of grace. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come to the very throne of grace, glory be to God. We come boldly that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in this time of need. We come with thanksgiving in our hearts and your praises on our lips. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for being a strong God in the midst of your people, for being the all-sufficient one, the one who is more than enough. We praise and glorify the almighty God. You and you alone is our everything. You are hope, our joy, our peace today. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. You're so wonderful, you're so good. Oh, dear God, we, are, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Ghost, we trust you to have your way in our midst today. Ministering to every heart, whatever the need may be. Father, you be glorified in everything that is said and done. In the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus, thank God. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, let's give Logos Christian Fellowship praise team a hand clap in our musicians as they come with the praises of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Worthy. Oh, Lord. 
something and tell them to welcome tonight uh, to 2023. Glory be to God. Well, the Lord is good, isn't he? I said the Lord is good. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. And God is faithful. And I tell you, God is always on time. Yes, Certainly, we thank and praise the Lord for each and every one of you today. And you that are viewing by way of live streaming, we're glad to have you. Uh, our service is going to be a little different. Uh, praise God. We, we will have a short service, I believe. And so we're just going to move on. We're not taking an offering at this time. I'm going to ask Brother John Green to be prepared later on to receive the offering. Um, but what we'll do, we'll take it up a little later on. Because everybody's not here yet. <laughs> Amen. So, so we just praise God. Last night we had a wonderful service uh, on, online. Uh, we did um, a New Year's Eve service, watch meeting service. Amen. And, and, and it was wonderful, and we thank God for that. We had a lot of people on, online with us, and the Lord did bless. Praise God. Um, we just thank God. A lot of things has been happening. Isn't it interesting that how things start happening uh, like at the end of the year? And, and people, people don't make it into the new year, many people. But so be it. That's life. And, but we keep on keeping on. Amen. Uh, tell your neighbors that don't stop now. Yeah, yeah. Don't stop now. We, we, we haven't finished yet. So no need to stop. Amen. We got to keep on keeping on. And so we just, again, we're so glad. We're so glad for the faithfulness of God's people today. It means a great deal to see you here. It means a great deal for those that are tuning in by way of live streaming. It means so much to this church and certainly we thank the Lord for all your support all year long. Now, now, I'm telling you right now, folks, man may not see everything you do. And some people don't even say thank you. And some people don't even acknowledge you. But let me tell you something. God is looking and booking. No one, no one slipped by God. God see. God see everything. And whatever we do, and, and where did he, we do it all as unto the Lord. Amen. And we keep things in the right perspective there. Now, on next Sunday, this coming Sunday, uh, the Cecil Paxson will be with us. He's from Colorado Spring. He's an uh, evangelist, national e evangelist. And so we're looking forward to he and uh, his wife being with us on next Sunday. Um, also that I noticed on his website, he posted on his website, so we may have other guests here on next Sunday also. So we thank God for that. Uh, just thank the Lord for 
for the faithfulness. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, I see, I think I, I keep saying it because many times we are being faithful and don't realize it. Amen. Amen. You're faithful in serving God. And really, we're going to kind of look at a little, little bit at that. Now, our, our theme for this new year is pressing in. All right. Pressing in is the theme for this new year. Now, uh, I added a little more to that, pressing in and onward. And so uh, that's where we're going today. Okay, let's just bow our heads for a word of prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that he's here. Oh, my goodness, he's here. <laughs> he's here, he's here. And, and the sweet Holy Spirit just asks that you have your perfect way in our hearts and our lives today and that you take the word of God and open it up unto us and reveal your truths into our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, so our subject is pressing in and onward. Okay, so uh, our verse of scripture is taken from Philippians chapter 3 and verse 14. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 14. It says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high callings of God in Christ Jesus. The high callings of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. We're pressing towards that mark. Now, if someone would ask you, what is the greatest blessing that you could receive? It's interesting what you would say. Amen. You ever thought about that question? I asked myself that question. What is the greatest blessing? And you know what, what I came with? It's to be used by God. It's to be used by God. It's to be used by God. Now, did you notice it says the high callings of God in Christ Jesus? Amen. Amen. Listen, saints of God, we're entering into a new year, 2023. Glory to God. Now, I believe that in 2023, there, the blessings of God will flow as never before. I believe that God is going to use the body of Christ as never before. Amen. You know, it's up to you and I to put ourselves in a place where God can use, use us. Many times people say, well, I'm just waiting on the Lord. No, you're not. God is waiting on you and I. Somebody put it this way. When you become usable, God will use you. So, saints of God, we need to put ourselves in a place where God can use us. And that's going to require some pressing on our part. One definition of that word press is to put pressure. It's to move forward to persevere through. Amen. And so it, it, everything may not be easy. Just because God instructs you to do something, it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. It does not mean that everything will just go just real your way and it'll be well. Sometimes there's going to be opposition in your way. Amen. And you have to persevere through. You know, it's, it's amazing to me. People become so comfortable. Saints of God, we have become so comfortable in our place. You know, I mean, we've become so comfortable where we are. And saints of God, we cannot. Now, don't, don't misunderstand me. We need to be comfortable in life. But don't fall out and, and start crying if you, something happens where you're not so comfortable any longer. Pressing, pressing in. We have to press in. Even Apostle Paul says, I press. Notice what he said. I press towards the mark for the prize. He had to press. Apostle Paul had to press. What about you and I? We have to press. We have to be willing to press. Now, I, I want you to look at a verse of scripture in Ephesians chapter uh, 6 and verse uh, 18. We 
difficult times will come in life, but we still have to persevere right through them. In Ephesians uh, chapter, I said Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18, yes. Okay, it says, it says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. The word perseverance is, is to continue a course of action in spite of opposition or difficulty. Saints of God, we have to be willing to continue to continue a course of action in spite of opposition or difficulty. Because right. sometimes when things get a little diffi difficult for, for an individual, they just bail out. But God wants us to continue that course. Amen. Continue as long as you know you're doing God's will. That's the key thing, that you're doing God's will. Now, saints of God, let me tell you something. You, many times, we feel that we're not doing God's will, but you are. Amen. Now, again, what I said, what is the greatest blessing is to be used by God. It's to be used by God. And let me tell you something. I was reflecting back. This is about 15, I said 15, 20 years ago. Awesome move of the Spirit of God. We, uh, I was speaking at a church, a Spanish church, on 13th Street. And, and that we, we got there for the service, I don't know, about a half an hour before service. And then um, service didn't get started until about uh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes late. Kids running around. I mean, it, it just people just, you know, doing their thing. And, and, and I already made up in my mind, I'm sitting there waiting. I'm saying that, well, I'm just going to get up there and speak for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes at the most. And then I sat down. And then I got up. Eventually I got up. Everything settled down. They had that music and everything. And by the time I got up, it was probably about an, another hour or longer. Who well, no, knows longer than that because we was about 35 minutes getting started before we got started. So I just said, I'm going to get up, I'm going to speak, and just, you know, sit down. And so I got up, I spoke, I spoke, I guess I spoke for about 20 minutes, and then I sat down. And then the pastor said, well, I'd like for you to lay hands on the folks. I said, okay. And so the people came down, and I began to lay hands on the people. And after a while, everybody say, after a while. <laughs> See what I said, the greatest, the greatest blessing is to be used by God. I begin to lay hands on the people and, and my, 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 the presence of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, just laying hands on the people and God was giving deliverance and God was healing, God was moving. People, people just slain all over the floor. And after a while, there was a lady on the floor and she began to go, ah, she began to cry out. I turned, walked over, I said, come out in Jesus' name. That woman just, and later on, I saw she was just sitting on the seat. But the, the presence of God was so strong. And then I went up, and I was going to pray for this lady. I mean, she was a beautiful woman, dressed really nice, and I missed it. Have you ever missed it? I laid hands on her, and after a while, that woman said, and I said to myself, this, this is not the devil. See, don't, don't let appearance fool you. My head got in the way, and I just moved on. But really, I should have rebuked that spirit. I'm just telling you, save, save you, help you. <laughs> Amen. Because we judge, a lot of times we judge by what we see. And so continue to pray for the folks and people, I mean the presence of God. And so we was finished and I sit down. And, and, and I, I, you know, I don't feel no anointing. I just feel, you know, just me. And I'm just sitting there. We service about to be dismissed. And, and after a while, the pastor said, well, by this time, 
a lot of people had left. He said, I would like for you to lay hands on, on my staff. And so I said, okay. And they lined up, and I laid hands on the first person, and whew, that anointing. Shoo, shoo. I mean, the presence of God, the power of God. It wasn't like I was feeling something, but it was, it was a boldness that's indescribable. That the presence of God. See, I, I said, the greatest blessing is to be used by God. The greatest blessing is to be used by God. Amen. And listen, saints of God, God wants to use you. Everybody say, God wants to use me. Now listen, another thing, you got to realize that you're in the right place at the right time. One time the Lord spoke to my heart. He said, wherever I send you, I'm with you. And then I, I interpret that, uh, okay, if God tell me to go so, so and so, he's with me. That's the way I interpret it. But you know that was wrong. It's wherever I go, God is with me. Wherever I go, he sends me. Did you hear what I said? Wherever we go, he sends us. Now, come on. Everybody's not sent in the same way because everybody's not called to the same office. But God is with us. He said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. And so now I go with that thought in mind. If I'm here, God want me here. If I'm in this, this place, that's where God wants me. And so he's with me. And look out. Come on, saints. We got to expect. We have to expect for God to use us. Amen. Because he called us. Amen. You're special in the sight of God. We all are. We all are special in God's sight. So we're pressing. We're pressing in. And we're pressing onward. We're pressing towards the high callings of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. To be used by God. Now listen, Jesus was used by God. It's amazing. Jesus was used by God. Hallelujah. Okay, in, in the Gospel of St. Matthew's chapter 3 in verse 16. This is when Jesus was baptized by John. It says, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting up on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom what? I am well pleased. Now let me ask you a question. What had Jesus done prior to being baptized? The only thing that we read where Jesus had done anything was when he was in the temple and he was talking with the doctors and the lawyers in the temple. He hadn't performed any miracles. He hadn't no signs or wonders or anything. But God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. See, one thing about God, God calls those things that be not as though they were. God is a faith God. God knew what was in Jesus. And he knew that it would be worked out through his life. And so God could boldly say, I am well pleased. See, the, the whole point is this, saints of God. It's, it's, we, we reversed it somewhere along the line. We put it into our action. If I do this, if I do that, then God is pleased with me. If I don't, then he's not. Now, don't misunderstand me. Doing the right thing in the sight of God, it is wonderful. But God said concerning Jesus, in whom I am well pleased before he did anything. I made this statement, God knew what was in Jesus. Let me tell you something. 
Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. We are the workmanship of God. So God know what's in you. And if we could hear God saying now, he would say, in whom I'm well pleased. In whom I'm well pleased. See, he's saying he's well pleased with you and I before we do anything. So that says it's not what we do, it's what's in us that pleases God. But what's in us will come out of us that pleases God. See, God calls those things that be not as though they were. We need to see ourselves the way God sees us. See, we, we look at it as, well, if I can do this and do that, I know that's pleasing in the sight of God. And I know God will be pleased with me. But if I don't, then he won't. Well, who said it? God, see, God, God is no respecter of person. He said, and this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. The Bible says, 1 John 3 and 1, Behold, what matter of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the children of God. We are the sons of God. We are the sons of God in whom God is well pleased. I know, I know your head won't let you, won't let you get past that. I know your head gives you problems. I know my head does. You get down to pray, first thing come to your mind, to my mind, what I didn't do and what I should have done. Or what I did do and I shouldn't have done. That's what used to happen. Don't happen no more. I got past that. Woo-hoo-hoo. Woo-hoo-hoo. Glory to God. You know why I got past? Because my, my, my thoughts, my thoughts was focused on me. My thoughts was focused on me, not on him. 15, 15, 20 minutes later, come to myself. I, I've been talking to the Lord, but I haven't been talking to him. My mind been in else place, other some other place, thinking I've been. A, it's really been a selfish prayer because I've been thinking about myself. You know that's all. He said, "In whom I'm well pleased. In whom I'm well pleased." Amen. See, God is a God of faith, and God was speaking in faith. God knew what was in Jesus. He knew what Jesus would do. God knew what is in you and I, and he knew what you would do. <laughs> See, somebody said, well, if you know what I would do, he know that, you know, I ain't, ain't all of that in a bag of chips. Amen. But, but, but now listen, God know what's in us. God know who you are. God know exactly where you're going. So let me say to you, stop belittling yourself. Amen. See, there's, there's, there's for a lot of times we focus on the pressure. We focus on opposition that's coming against us. Come on now. Let me tell you something else. God is not trying to hinder your walk with him. God is not putting obstacles in your way to make it hard for you. Now, things can be hard for you because you're doing the will of God. I never said that it would be easy to do the will of God, but we can do it. The Bible said that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So there can be pressure that will come against us. But that's why we have to keep on pressing on. 
Glory to God. In Matthew, the gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 18, it says, it says, and I say, I say also, this is Jesus speaking to Peter. He said, I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, see, it is inferring that we are prevailing against the gates of hell. We know this, gates don't move. Gates do not move. They're stationary. We're the ones that prevail against the gates of hell but they shall not prevail against us. Somebody said, well, I got all kind of pressure, anxiety, whatever. Well, tell it to go back to hell. Come on now. Come on now. We have the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I can do some things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is a new year, 2023. 20, we are prevailing. We are pressing on in 2023. The gates of hell shall not prevail against us. It is, it is inferring instead of the devil coming against us, we coming against the devil. We're coming against the works of the devil. Somebody talk, you know when people talk about, well, you know that show was bad. Yeah, I tell you, you can see the works of the devil. Ooh, the devil is so busy. The devil is doing this. The devil is doing that. Well, the devil with the devil. No, the church, the church, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Who, who is the church? Who, who is the church? Who, who is the church? Who is the church? Who is the church? Glory be to God. Mm, Lord. Glory be to God. Mm, Lord. See, God wants us as saints of God, as people of God, as children of God. He wants us to rise up and take our place and take our place. Do you hear what I said? I said, take it. Take our place. Mm, Lord. See, one person said, one person said, well, he said, the devil been, off, been after me all these days. He said, he said, I got the devil on the run. I got the devil on the run. He said, the only problem is that I'm running and he's running after me. That's a problem. See, see, God has given to the church authority. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, the body of Christ against us. Believe us. What you mean prevail? Glory to God. Speak to it. Sickness and disease, speak to it. Problems, troubles, worry, speak to it. Cannot prevail against the body of Christ. Glory to God. You need to ask your neighbor, say, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you know my father? Let me tell you about my brother. Glory be to God. 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 The God we serve, he's more than enough. The God we serve, he's the almighty God. Woo! My, 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 my. The almighty God. The everlasting Father. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Mm. 
of hell shall not prevail. Shall, that means everything that hell stands for. That means all the hell that's behind the hell shall not prevail. Shall not prevail. Shall not prevail. Shall not prevail. Shall not stand up. But they got to fall down. The walls got to fall down. The burdens have to fall down. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Saints of God, listen, this is our year. 2023. 2023 is our year. Glory be to God. It's our time to make a move. It's our time to persevere. It's our time to prevail, to go forth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That name that is above every name. That name, oh, glory be to God. That name that demons have to tremble to, submit to, give in to. The name of Jesus is above every name. Great is his name, great is his name, great is his name, great is his name. Oh, great is his name, oh, great is his name, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Listen, saints, we need to see ourselves, we need to see ourselves, see yourself. See yourself the way God sees you. Come on now. See ourselves the way God sees us. When we start seeing ourselves the way God sees us, we start seeing ourselves a different way. I mean, if God sees you one way, that should be enough. He knows us from the beginning to the end. He knows all about us. And he said concerning his son, Jesus, I'm well pleased. I'm well pleased. One time several years ago, I was praying, and the Lord spoke to me. He says, I'm well pleased. I almost turned around to look back and see who he's speaking to. See, no one know you like you know you. You know your shortcomings, your lack of not doing this and doing that. You know all about you. How could God say that? Because God knows what's in you. God knows what your makeup is. God knows what he's put in you. And God is a faith God. You may stop believing in yourself, but God will never give up on you. Oh, can I get a witness? God will never give up on you. In whom I'm well pleased. So we press on. Yeah. We press, we press past. Yeah. You know there's some people who dislike you, you got to press past it. Yeah. There's some people that say some bad things about you, you got to press on, pass. Yeah. Oh yeah, some people look at you funny. Press, press. Get past it. Some people you go to church, they didn't smile at you. I won't be there next week. Press pass. I can tell the way they looked at me. They don't care for me. Press pass. Press pass your mind. Press pass those thoughts. The Bible said we are to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, that we may, that we may, uh, what is what it said, that we may. Prove that we may prove what is thank you, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. There's a mind renewal that we have to take place. A mind renew. What does that mean? That means reading God's word. See, when we read God's word, we see how God thinks. When we know how He thinks, then we can think like Him. Stand on your feet. Here. 
you got to keep on pressing. We press, press towards the mark of the prize, of the high callings of God in Christ Jesus. The greatest blessing is to be used by God. Now, if you, if you think of something else, you tell me. If you think there's something greater, you let me know. See me after the church. I, I was thinking about it. What, what is greater? I mean, somebody give you a million dollars, two million, five million, six million, that can run out. And if it happened, this money can buy it. it I mean, it's, it's good, but it's temporary. You can't take it to heaven with you. You, can't, you cannot take that to heaven with you. No matter how rich you are. You ever watch the, 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 a movie called uh, uh, Pharaoh? Uh, he, he died had all this treasure and said put this in they, this tomb that he was they was putting him away in all of this treasure millions of dollars he said he's going to use it in the afterlife you can't take it with you they can put it in the coffin with you or whatever, but you can't take it. I told you about that lady and her husband. He was a millionaire and said he made his wife promise to get, put a million dollars in the coffin with him when he go, when he die. And so, so, so she, she told her friend about it. She said, did you put a million in there? And she said, I sure did. I wrote him a check. She wrote a million dollar check and she put it in there with him. That woman was no dummy. Wouldn't that be stupid? Put a million dollars. Amen. Bow your head, everyone. God is good. God is always faithful. In Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We thank you for a greater determination in 2023. We thank and praise you for changes in our lives, in our hearts in 2023. And sweet Holy Spirit, now listen, listen, everybody, we all want a court. Sweet Holy Spirit, show us. You are our helper. You are our counselor. You are our guide. Show us. Bring all things to our remembrance that we need to see. Show us ourselves that we can see ourselves. And that we can make decisions in changing, in changing some things in our own life, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we want to do and be in your perfect will. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. And, and, and I guess the great, one of the greatest things you can do is, is make up your own mind to make a commitment to the Lord. You know, there's a lot of, now I'm not, I'm not saying it's you, but there's a lot of part-time Christians. Part-time, let me see, any, any hands in here say you're a part-time Christian? I didn't expect to see any. <laughs> part-time, part-time, part-time. We want to be full-time. Have you seen? Praise God. Come on, John Green, you're going to take the offering today. See, we, 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 gave, we didn't take the offering right off from the beginning. We're going to take it up now. We give people a time to get here and be a part of the offering. Is that right? That's pretty good, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Let us all say amen. Wait, John. Wait, John. John. Oh, hey, y'all shout now. Y'all shout now. My sin and ear. My sin and ear. No, 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 no. You come over, shake. You come over, over say, I'm over, shake. No kind day, no I must say undo. Mama say undo. Limo ne son and I. Decade no ne, no son. Now listen, this is what the Lord is saying. As you walk, I walk with you. I am your peace. I will be your joy. I am your comforter. There's no need to be afraid. For I am with you. I am your strong God. I am the all-sufficient one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
Glory be to God. Now listen. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. I almost reluctant to say it, but <laughs> see. Oh my goodness. Now when temptation comes, when temptation comes, stand. Persevere through it. Temptation resist it. In the name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. You know that scripture over in 1 Corinthians, I think it's like uh, 10 and 14 or 13, that he will not, he will not suffer. There's nothing that come to that you to be tempted above that you able. To withstand, but with every temptation, he will provide a way to escape. Now, two things: it's not saying that God is bringing the temptation. He said he will not suffer you to be tempted above that you able to uh, stand. But with the temptation, he will provide a way to escape. Now, let me tell you something: the way to escape is, has already been provided. It's already. Now, it's a different story for you and I to accept it and take it. It's up to us to take it. Glory to God. Thank you. Now, let us all say amen. amen. Because that is so true. And I got to tell you, God is omnipotent, omnipresent, all-knowing in all places, at all times, knows everything. And he said that right there for me. I don't know about you, but that was for me. Because I have struggled with peace. Hallelujah. I would have struggled with peace in my mind. And the determination to trust God anyway when He ain't never failed me. How you gonna not trust God? And He ain't never failed you. But we still do. This poor man cried out. And God heard me. I said it on the watch night service last night. I tried to keep it light because they asked me to read one scripture and I read another one. Because I didn't have my glasses on. So don't be coming up here without your glasses, Green. You know you need them to read. But what I'm saying to you is God has taken care of and I got this old sports business that kind of drives me a little mad sometimes. Wasn't for that little lady standing right there in that corner back there. Pat Green, I'd probably be done run off the rail already. Because you can't hardly trust people these days. They won't do what they say, and the truth don't matter. Just tell a good lie, and somebody will believe you. But that ain't God. He don't play that. You just do what God, trust God, because he won't fail you. And you can trust him in every area of your life. Now, this is not the direction I intended to go when I came up here. I just wanted to say, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall man give unto your bosom. Now, God said it. I didn't. So trust God, because he won't fail you. And don't look to man for you rewards because he'll let you down but I do know this Psalms 34 and 1 says I will bless the Lord how many times when at all times and his pray hallelujah his praises shall continually be in my mouth and if you if you do that God won't let you down can't let you down Ain't in him to let you down. Ain't possible for him to let you down. So try God because he won't let you fail. He won't let you down. And so I'm just up here today to say give and it shall be given unto you. The Bible does say give. Because you can't outgive God. They used to sing a song like that and the pastor said one time, said, wait a minute, now you ain't got to say that. That you can't outgive God because that's pretty clear. <laughs> Nobody have to tell you about that, do they? But still, 
we fail and we don't trust God like we should. I'm talking about me now. So now if that applies to anybody else, just give God the glory for it and move on because he knows your name. He knows who you are, Brother Carl. I see you coming in the back. That's one of my special people there, Carl Neal. We got a special relationship. So I'm thanking God for all that he's done for me today. Let's say a word of prayer if we will by your heads and we'll thank God for all that he's done. Heavenly Father, we do thank you. And we do praise you, Lord God. Because you're worthy of all praise and honor and glory. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing like you, Father. So we're thanking you today for our health and our strength and all that we have in am is because of you. For this new year, 2023, let us be stronger. Let us go forward. Let us not stand still in the things of God, but let us move forward. And so we thank you for every giver in this offering this morning. Ask that you bless everyone, those that have it to give and those that have not. But to you be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In the name that's above every name. And God said, amen. Now, if you, if you have uh, a check or cash that you're giving, please raise your hand so that the ushers can come around and give you an envelope and uh, give what God puts on your heart. Amen. Brother Carl, uh, pastor told me to call up Brother Carl up here. That's dad. You know God going to bless you anyway, Carl. Just trust God because he won't fail you. Amen. Let's give God a hand today. Hallelujah, because he's worthy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank the Lord for being here today and uh, uh, just thank him for another year. He's blessed me. Um, he blessed me tremendously. And uh, sometimes I just, it's just uh, overwhelming what he does. <clears throat> I, I made a special effort to um, spend more time with the Lord. And uh, so I started walking. Um, five o'clock in the afternoon, I went on these walks and I just said, I'm just going to spend some time with the Lord. And I made special requests and I just asked him. And boy, before you know it, within a month, I made three special requests, just different things in my life. And each one, I kid you not, he answered every Everyone. last request. Before this year was over, everything that I had asked him for, and I just, I was just so overwhelmed. I just overwhelmed. So if you take some time out and spend some actual time with the Lord, he will provide for you. I, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. <clears throat> For thou art worthy to receive glory, glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things created. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure thou hast created. For thou art worthy, for thou art worthy, for thou art For thou art worthy to receive glory, glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things created. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure thou hast created. 
For thou art worthy. For thou art worthy. For thou art worthy, O Lord. Amen. Thank you, Carl. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, Debbie, Debbie, come up here, please. I just want everybody to reach your hand through Deb, uh, towards Debbie. Debbie been going through some things in her body. Jesus is the answer to every situation. Now, I just want everyone to just see yourself in the very throne room of God. So, Heavenly Father, Jesus, we just release blessings to Debbie. I'm breathing. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Lord God. Father, thank you. Stand on your feet, everyone. Glory to God. I tell you something else, too. It doesn't take God a long time to move. Y'all know that? Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, when, when, when you pray, when you pray for someone or someone that you're praying for, see yourself in the very throne room of God. Just see yourself in his presence. Amen. Okay, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this service today and that we are blessed in 2023. Turn to your neighbor and say, you want to see someone blessed? Look at me. Okay, we dismiss. I told you we're getting out of here quick today. We dismiss. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in by way of live streaming. Glory to God. You're blessing. You're blessing. Amen. Amen. Everybody be blessed. If anyone wants prayer and need prayer, just feel free to come on down to the front. Thank you for joining in and watching our Logos Fellowship Church videos. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like us on Facebook and visit us on our website. Our church is located at 4801 Alum Rock Avenue in San Jose, California, 95127. We begin our services with praise and worship and greet all visitors with a hug. We are a Bible teaching church and all of our messages reflect the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. We have separate services for adults, children as well as a Spanish ministry. If you have any questions upon arrival, any of our greeters or ushers are here to assist you as well as our pastor Isaac Neal and First Lady Star Neal. We look forward to meeting you. God bless you.